I want to close by sharing a story on an incredible witness of hope. His name is Venerable Archbishop Thuan of Vietnam. His story really begins in 1975 when Saigon City fell to the North Vietnamese Army and thousands of civilians were imprisoned. One of them was Thuan. At the time, Thuan was newly elected Archbishop and at the peak of his spiritual career. His pastoral gifting had spread like wildfire and his community had grown rapidly. And there, in the midst of such great revival, Thuan's life was interrupted. He was arrested and thrown into prison where he was beaten and tortured and starved and completely cut off from the community that he loved. And there in the prison cell, Thuan experienced what we all experience when the cross becomes too heavy to bear. When the cross becomes a scandalous thing to run away from. In his book, The Road of Hope, Thuan writes about his anguish, his confusion, his doubt, even his despondency to such a degree that he said that it was better for him to die in that prison cell than to endure such suffering. But one day, Thuan sat late into the night, just staring at the wall when he noticed a stream of light coming into the room. Somebody might have left a torch in the neighboring cell. And this light streamed into his room and it illuminated a dark corner where a crucifix hung. And Thuan's eyes caught a glimpse of the crucifix and the man who hung on it. This man whose body was so broken, so disfigured that he hardly looked human. This man who was thrown into the throes of death, who endured such physical, such psychological, such existential suffering that no one will ever go to. This man who was stripped naked, who was, who was made vulnerable to the world. This man whose hands and feet were nailed, who couldn't save himself. This Jesus of Nazareth appearing useless and foolish and illogical to the world. But as Thuan continued to gaze on the crucifix, something began to arise from within him. Like a flicker of light, hope began to arise. And there at that moment before the crucified Savior, Thuan understood that the disciples of Jesus conquer in dying and that they rise victorious in the very places that they are subdued. And Tuhan said that was the moment, it was a moment for him to get up, to get up and Tuhan resolved, I will continue mission. And as he got up, he began to compose pastoral letters to his people. These were smuggled out with a request to send his medicine this medicine were cough syrup bottles filled with wine and pieces of bread with which Tuan celebrated Mass in the prison. Only the love of God, only the love of God poured out on the cross could have turned a cramped prison cell into a cathedral. Only the love of God can redeem all wounds. Only the love of God can give us courage to rise above our fears and insecurities and to release all that we hold dear. Only the love of God, this love that has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit to encounter a hope that will never ever disappoint us.